Hello and what is up beautiful people, uh, today would be a vlog type of video wherein how I would show you how I train my arms and shoulders at home with limited or minimal equipment available and if you are new here to the channel make sure that you like this video subscribe if you haven't or not comment down below what you think of my type of videos that i'll be uploading on this video so let's get right, right to it so the first superset exercises i'm performing uh previously it was shown that i was doing ring face pulls as an alternate to the cable face pulls and i am clearly here shown doing hammer curls with a diy weight DIY free weight using a water gallon with a piece of cloth or just even using cloth or excuse me just using the water gallon and you can do just single arm curls with it and I am doing body weight tricep dips as clear seen here um, the aim of this first superset is just to give my joints and my body in general just get warmed up and as you could be as you can see here in the second set i'm clearly obviously warmed up because um in our country uh, during the time that i'm recording this video it was actually very hot uh, even in the winter, here in our country of the Philippines, it's very hot. So, doing warm-ups are very easy. But, uh, given consideration that my joints are also uh, warmed up because the likelihood of getting injured, uh, especially at the stage or current level that I am now, um, going intermediate or even going past intermediate I have to take care of my joints uh, because of course the uh, prevention of injuries most especially overuse injuries uh, especially on the elbows preventing golfers and tennis elbow if that's the right term uh, if you know what I mean uh, the nagging pain that you'd feel on your elbow and even your forearms I would try to minimize it as much as possible to keep continuing on gaining progress and here you can see me doing pelican curls an alternate a bodyweight calisthenic alternate to the incline curls and of course I'm supersetting it with a weighted version of a curl as you can see here uh, doing concentration single double curls uh, with the lack of access in a preacher station I chose this variation because for one I'm trying something new and something fresh and as far as I as far as on my experience these are very new obviously and they actually feel very comfortable more surprisingly because again i'm trying to minimize injury myself especially on isolations and my opinion before on concentration curls is of course it's not quote-unquote functional as some of this uh optimal and science gurus that are continuing to f continuing to fester the online fitness space uh, most especially tiktok instagram and youtube uh, i try to become as open-minded as possible now nowadays and try to test it if my body would respond very well on such quote-unquote non-functional exercises and so far um the concentration curls are a very good uh, alternate if i don't have the time to go to a gym uh, 
with access to a preacher station and tons of weights. Uh, of course, the uh, purpose of this video being that I'm going to show you what I do uh, the time that I cannot go to a gym. And of course, although I have some weights, I, they're not that many weights and thus the, I don't have that many of options and variation to do some exercises like I used to do on a gym. So uh, for the time being, concentration curls can be a good alternate for the preacher curls, uh, whether it could be done in an easy bar, a straight bar, even dumbbells, and uh, even a good uh, exercise alternate or ex exercise rotation with spider curls. Again, it can be done with easy bar, straight bar, or dumbbells. Uh, so far, I am trying and testing the waters of what curl variation I am or which type of curl variation would respond very best according to my body uh, so far doing easy bar both easy bar and dumbbell picture curls uh, uh, stimulates my biceps very well uh, of course uh, as well as doing the concentration dumbbell curls and you can see me doing uh, bodyweight tricep extension, uh, bodyweight or calisthenic alternate on doing cable tricep extensions and even doing uh, skull crushes or doing easy bar or double tricep extensions. Uh, so far, this has been my bread and butter most especially during the start of my fitness journey when I used to be a calisthenics freak. I used to rep tons and tons of repetitions on push-ups and such and I'm actually supersetting it with a seated uh, normal dumbbell curls obviously uh, as I previously stated or stated earlier that I don't have many that many options in doing uh, curl variation uh, variations at home but uh, on what I'm doing is I am doing the principle of getting more out of less weight so I'm trying to superset everything as much as I could and simulating a single exercises whether it could be an antagonistic or the same muscles supersetted with two different exercises in which uh, as you can see here I'm also supersetting it with uh, a body weight tricep extension done with a ladder uh, compared to the previous exercise variation that I am doing with the rings this actually restricts my wrist in moving freely thus giving my triceps the long head of the uh, muscle more tension compared to doing it freely with the rings then I'm actually doing uh, a very body weight variation of a bicep curl so this would be the body weight bicep curls obviously um, this could be a very good alternate to doing cable curls and even doing spider curls and I am now done with doing arms now I'm primarily targeting my delts because of course it's a bro day and one of my many weak spots is my delts uh, ironically even if, even with my calisthenics background and origin, 
I actually have very weak doubts. Uh, years and years of neglecting overhead and vertical pushing. Uh, you, for example, doing pike push-ups, uh, handstand push-ups. I never did them. Only prioritized doing push-ups and even dips. I never did them religiously as compared to doing push-ups. So now I am paying the price of having lagging deltoids. But uh, of course, it is not very late. It's not too late in correcting my mistakes and laggy parts behind. And in this case, doing some lateral races, some Egyptian races, races as some of you would like to call it, with a piece of cloth again uh, wrapped or the plates wrapped around a cloth because the resistance profile of this exercise variation compared to doing a normal dumbbell lateral race uh, simulates my side delts even more compared to doing the normal lateral races. That's why when I'm or when I have access to a gym, I prefer doing Egyptian races on the cable station compared to doing normal dumbbell lateral races. And I am now supersetting this with uh, leaning Y races or uh, some of you would like to call this the rear delt flies. Uh, again, not that I'm very limited with doing options. So this would be the mandatory back pose um, for some reason. Of course, flexing the pump traps, pump deltoids, and that would be it. Uh, if you happen to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, probably posting more vlog type videos, training vlog type videos in the future. So that would be it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.